Hi, I'm Teal and I'm an author and lifestyle architect and I help individuals who are looking to build a new and more positive lifestyle to believe in their potential to achieve success. I utilize my background in event planning and design to create tailored strategies of easy to follow tips and tricks, which integrate mind, body, and spirit for a mindset shift and self-image strengthening. Hi, my name's Matt and I am an author, certified personal trainer, and performance coach. I'm an expert in extending the transformations that happen inside the gym to other areas of people's lives. I help individuals looking to uplevel their health and wellness and become the best version of themselves. I do this by implementing customized personal training programs that include a holistic approach, mind, body, and sport to create significant lasting changes. We chose the title Take Three for our journal because this book is based on the concept of three. Three is a very powerful number because it represents completeness, it encourages repetition, it's not overwhelming. Three simplifies, provides balance, and keeps your mind engaged. People get so overwhelmed you know, with constantly thinking they need to, you know, add just another thing to the list of things that they already have to do every day. But you know what? This is simple. And that's why we, we stuck with the concept of three. Just take three things that you're grateful for, only three, and then just start there. You know, both Teal and I were already in the practice of writing and having a daily gratitude list. I had a journal for it. And I, to be honest, I didn't really like it. You know, we were taught to write a list of 10 things that we were grateful for every single day. But you know what? It felt really burdensome because on a good day, I could get about only five to six, you know, and then I would end up just starting to put random things just to fill up the spots because I felt like, okay, well, I only have five or six. Now I need to add another three or four to complete the 10, you know, but those other things I just filled in, it didn't mean anything to me. And it defeated the purpose of what a gratitude journal is supposed to achieve and how it's supposed to work. Also, there wasn't really any clear direction for me as a journaler. So that can seem a bit intimidating and overwhelming, especially if you've never had a daily gratitude practice before and you're new to journaling. When the pandemic hit, we knew that this was something that we needed to do. And so we brainstormed together on ideas on how we could make it simpler and easier to maintain. And we thought to ourselves, how can we change this and make it more enjoyable? So I had been talking to my family and friends because I felt so much better when I was doing my gratitude list and they noticed a difference too. So they would literally have me send them screenshots of what I was doing and how I was setting up my pages. So then when Matt and I talked and I showed him what I was doing, he liked how I was designing it. And then he had the idea, why don't we just write three things at a time? And that was when it all just clicked. And then on top of everything else, you know, we talk a lot about vibrations and energies and fear is the lowest vibration that you can feel with gratitude being one of the highest. So we felt that gratitude was the perfect way to combat the high fear that everyone's feeling right now with the pandemic going on. And on top of that, it's been proven that gratitude lists are greater links to greater happiness, satisfaction with life and a more positive view about the future. And when you start and end your day with expressing gratitude, you end up having an increased view of positivity throughout the day, and it can help you get more peaceful sleep at night. Right, and you'll be amazed that something as simple as adopting this as a daily practice can have such a positive ripple effect for you throughout your day. Um, just as a personal example, I've noticed myself that my outlook is way more positive than it was prior to having uh, a daily gratitude practice. And even with all the craziness and all the uncertainty going on in the world right now, it's really helped me to stay and be a much more positive person. And I'll admit that when COVID first happened and when it first started, I, like everybody else, was glued to the news. And really, that took me away. I'd gotten away from my daily practice a bit. And I started to notice myself becoming more negative. Uh, with everything going on. And once I realized that, I immediately cut out what was what was making me negative, And I got back to resuming my, my daily gratitude practice. And it really, really helped me get back on track to where I want it to be. So if people are, are curious about where they can contact TL and I or where they can find us, you can visit our website at www.take3, the number three journal.com and like and follow our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash take the number three journal. Also follow us on Instagram at, at take three journal. Uh, you can follow me at, at just.teal 
And then you can follow Matt at MJ3, the number three, performance. And we are so excited to announce that our book will be launching this November 18th, 2020. And so as JFK said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. And this quote was really the theme and the foundation for not only creating it, but what we want it to achieve, what we want this journal to achieve. We want people to adopt this daily practice. We want people to share it with their friends and and share what they're grateful for with others and get other people involved and just start living their life by expressing gratitude. And it's our personal mission with this journal to get this into the hands of 1 million people and to start a worldwide gratitude movement. 